good morning we will see about the digit palindrome before that we want to know about the palindrome palindrome comes from greek palindromes that means running back again which itself is from palin means back again and ramen means to run that is running back again two types of palindromes are there first one is palindrome string and palindrome numbers what is palindrome string a string is called a palindrome string if the reverse of that string is the same as the original string for example level the original we will give the original string as a level the reversed string is equal to the original string means it is called the string palindrome then uh, what is digit palindrome the reversed digit is equal to the original digit means it is a digit palindrome so for example we will give 1 2 3 2 1 means the reversed string of the 1 2 3 2 1 is 1 2 3 2 1 so it is same as the original digit so it is called the digit palindrome in the another one example is 1 2 3 2 the reversed digit of the 1 2 3 2 is 2 3 2 1 that is not equal to the original digit so it is not the palindrome we will see the program has include as today what are which we will uh, include the header file that is standard input output header file after that the main function will be start then we will declare the variables the all the variables in the integer data type so int num reverse num equal to 0 and original num original number and reminder then we will get the number from the user for that we are using scanf after that we make a copy of the number so we will save the number to the original number so here we are giving the original number equal to number here the original number having the number which is given by the user here we in the while loop we will check the condition then while number not equal to 0 the loop will be executed the loop executed till the condition is false first we will know that how uh, the process will be done here we will take the given number is 1 2 3 so here condition will be checked while 1 2 3 not equal to 0 yes the condition is true then remainder equal to number modulus 10 uh, because we want to get the last digit 1 we will give the 1 2 3 we want to get the 3 so we are using the modulus operator so here and uh, the value 3 is stored in the remainder next reverse number equal to reverse number star 10 plus remainder uh, we declared uh, reverse number equal to 0 so 0 into 10 0 plus remainder we will having the remainder as 3 so in the reverse number the value 3 is stored next uh, we will a uh, number equal to number divided by 10 we will give 1 2 3 uh, so 1 uh, 2 3 divided by uh, 10 means we will get the answer 12.3 we will uh, declare as a integer so it will take the whole number so the 12 is uh, stored in the number then the condition again the condition will be checked while 12 not equal to 0 the condition is true again the remainder equal to number modulus 10 here uh, the number having the 12 so 12 modulus uh, 10 means we get the 2 as the remainder so the 2 is stored in the remainder uh, then reversed number equal to reversed number we will have the reverse number as 3 3 into 10 means 30 30 plus 2 we will get the 32 then number equal to number divided by 10 so at 12 divided by 10 we are having the answer is 1.2 it will take the whole number so 1 is stored in the number the again the check and the condition will be check so why 1 not equal to 0 yes the condition is true then remainder equal to number 
modulus 10. So we will have here 1, 1 modulus 10. We get the remainder as 1. So reversed number equal to reversed number into 10. Already we having the reversed number as uh, 3 to 32. So 32 into 10, 320 plus remainder. We will have the remainder as 1. So plus 1, 3, 31. So number equal to number divided by 10, 1 divided by 10, 0. Again the condition will be checked. While number not equal to 0, that is uh, 0 not equal to 0. The condition is false. So the uh, we will check the, the given number is palindrome or not. If the original number is equal to reverse number, it is called palindrome. Already we have seen. So the original number is 1, 2, 3. Then reversed number, we will get the 3, 2, 1. It is not equal to original number. The reversed number is not equal to original number. Means we will print the number is not a palindrome. Otherwise, the original reversed string, the reversed number is equal to the original number means we will get the result as the given number is palindrome. So, here uh, we have entered the integer is 1 to 1. So, the reversed number is also 1 to 1. So, it is a palindrome number. Then, next we will give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The reversed number of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It is uh, not equal to the original digit. So, it is not a palindrome. Thank you.